Hi guys, picked up this little car in a charity shop the other day. It was in a bag with several other toys for 99 pence all in. And looking through the plastic bag I could see that this one appears to be a slot car. In fact it's made by Hornby which is the same people that do the Scale Electrics. Mitsubishi Lancer. I think that's WRC. But what I did notice was the wheels don't move at all. They're jammed against the bodywork. Front wheels are alright. So there's no point in me trying to attach a battery to that to see if the motor will turn, because <laughs> it can't. So we'll take it apart and have a look. Better notice it's got longer screws at the front than it has at the back. Okay. A bit of dust in there. LEDs. Let's try a 9 volt battery. Okay, so the motor sounds fine. And the LEDs are coming on. So that part of it's all right. I've got a magnet there to hold it on the track. So that part's all right. We're missing the um, steering peg at the front there. So why wasn't it turning? Well, it's absolutely jammed in there. The wheels have actually <laughs> stuck to the plastic. Well, that took me an awfully long time to figure out what was wrong with it, and the final fix was really easy. I didn't realise that the back axle hadn't been pushed all the way down. At some time or other it's obviously come loose, maybe somebody stepped on it and it's popped out of its position, but if I clip it down in place like that and then put the body back on we've got loads of clearance so that's all it was, just the back axle wasn't in the um, little clips properly. Of course, still won't work for me because I need a proper steering guide and the brushes. But at least we know there's nothing wrong with the motor. Everything works. So I'll screw it back together and that's it. Job done. There we are, back together. So, it works. Before people bother looking it up on eBay and telling me how much it's worth, it's not in perfect condition. It's got a crack right down the front here. It's obviously a bit scuffed on the top. It's missing the fin on the back. 
I, sh um, I should think its only value to a collector would be for spare parts. I think it's missing a grill just there as well. But for my purposes I've got a nice little DC motor there that will run off 12 volts if I want it to. Oh, there's also where the front wheels fit one of the slots there is broken as well. That shouldn't wave around as much as that. The other side's okay. It's rather a nice little car though, lots of detail in it. You can see the disc brakes through the um, wheels there. Spare wheel in the back. Driver and co-pilot or navigator. So nice little car.